Good Wednesday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your latest update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday because it says so right up there in the upper right-hand corner. Sort of our brand new look where it's kind of tweaking a few new things, trying to make things look a little bit more interesting here. This is actually being recorded on our live real-time WeatherNet computer system on WSI. And we'll be bringing you some more information on this. If you see something you don't like, that's the email address. I decided to put it at the top of the screen for a little bit of some variety and going to be putting a little, few more things down toward the bottom of the screen where you see again the forecast information for both today and tonight down that direction showing the sunshine the sky conditions the winds and again the temperatures for right now and then also into for later on tonight winds sky and low temperatures for much of the mid-south area again we'll put more information on here as we go along to see what exactly we can do to kind of brighten things up out there let's take a look and see what's going on across the mid-south as of early this morning we're getting a lot of sunshine out there so the main thing you're going to be looking for is the uh, UV radiation for today is going to be very high, so a sunblock would be a very good idea. Video from the Ole Miss campus from the Crosby Hall construction cam. A lot of sunshine, a lot of cars parked on campus, but not too much going on in the way of major problems here. From the north end zone of the Ole Miss campus, showing a lot of sunshine as the Vaught-Hemingway interior gets a bit of a sprucing up for just a little bit. Earthquake reports in the last 24 hours, nothing to show in the Memphis metro area or throughout the rest of the Mid-South. So nothing shaking as of right now. So definitely good news if all stays quiet up on the New Madrid seismic zone. Almanac for yesterday, zero rainfall for Memphis. We're behind for the year or behind for the month by just about maybe three quarters of an inch. Not really all that much right now to report at this time, but we're ahead for the entire year by about 10 inches plus. So we're doing very good on rainfall throughout the entire year of 2016. Thanks to all that rain we picked up back in February and March, and it's going to be a well while before we slink back down even close to zero stage anytime soon. For sunshine today, we're managing to pick up about 14 hours, 28 minutes, and sunrise, sunset time will be about the same for today and into tomorrow. So again, lots of sun out there to get things done, including heading out for the lemonade stand. If you've got any kids heading out the door, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, but heat index numbers by early this afternoon will not be that bad, thanks to the fact that we've got some pretty good amounts of low humidity across the area. Area. So looking very good across the Mid-South for outdoor activities, but once again, the sunblock would be a very good idea to make certain that we don't have anything going on in the way of sunburn. We want to try to avoid that as much as possible. Taking a look into the tropics, not much going on at this time. What's left of Bonnie is a distant memory. Colin is out into the middle of the Atlantic, and outside of El, a few areas of showers and thunderstorms from the Texas Gulf Coast all the way over to Florida, Cuba, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, very much on the quiet side with no major developing systems at this time. There's what's left of Colin out into the middle part of the Atlantic, and beyond that, there's just really not that much happening and nothing expected to be developing. As of right now, the good news across much of the area uh, for development is showing again little of anything taking place as we look out into this direction because we've got lots of dust and sand in the atmosphere from parts of the Sahara blowing out into the areas of the Atlantic and that's doing a very good job of keeping things very quiet at least for now. That can definitely be changing as we go into the next few weeks and this is again the beginning of hurricane season so please keep it updated for more information here as of right now not much to show you on the forecast data heading into tomorrow morning after highs today in the mid to upper 80s lows tomorrow morning will be back into the 50s and heading into the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening so your seven day forecast again beautiful conditions today mid 80s low humidity across the entire mid south with a few clouds developing past lunchtime into this evening. High temperatures tomorrow will be pushing 90 degrees across much of the area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, getting warmer all the way into the end of the week with high temperatures Friday back in the lower 90s. The weekend is going to be very much on the hot side. We'll be back in the mid-90s for anything involving outdoor activities Saturday and Sunday. It would take it very easy and pack a lot of bottled water or some ice water out there to make sure you stay cool out across parts of the Mid-South. We will be looking again at chances of showers and thunderstorms developing in the Mid-South area as we get into around Sunday evening. That's where we see again the potential of more chances of rainfall developing out there and some of that rain will continue into the forecast as we go into next week. How much longer? Well all the way through about the area of Flag Day next Tuesday we're looking at the possibility of seeing again showers and thunderstorms isolated in the Mid-South. What you saw a couple of weeks ago 
that's a pretty good indication of what we may be looking for uh, into the near future with a return to moisture moisture rich air coming in from off the Gulf of Mexico that again is going to be the main concern at this time for anything involving uh, shower and thunderstorms limiting outdoor activities at times especially in the afternoon and early evening hours remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder you are too close to the storm you need to get back indoors again and please remember also to keep it tuned to news channel 3 over the next several days into next week and we'll keep you updated on the chances of showers and thunderstorms out there an iridium flare will be visible into later on tonight it'll be happening at just about 10 23 p.m looking to the east as the bright star Vega rises over the eastern horizon. That'll be the nearest bright object. So between Vega and the horizon, that's going to be where you see an Iridium flare. Iridium satellites were a communication satellite network until the company went bankrupt. The company is no longer around, but the satellites with numerous solar uh, mirrors up there, uh, solar uh, photoconductive panels, doing a good job of reflecting light, and you'll see the flare begin at just about 10, 23, and 30 seconds if you have anything that sharp of a chronometer out there to take a look at. The satellite will fade into view, get really bright, and then fade away almost just as quickly going in a straight line. This one will be going from roughly northeast to southeast and again going right between the bright star Vega and the eastern horizon. So your opportunity to do a little bit of sky gazing tonight. After that, the International Space Station will be passing overhead as we go into the evening hours as we head toward very late, about 11.30 or so. You can see updates on that on my Facebook page if you'd like to know more about that. Thanking all of our viewers for sending in great pictures. If you'd like to do so, please send them along to us. This from last Saturday as clouds began to gather over the area. This from Michelle0416 in South Haven. A view of central Memphis, midtown Memphis from Tank Boy 925 with thunderstorms off in the distance and a beautiful copper colored sunset from Ammons Lee. Thanks a lot for everybody for sending that along. If you'd like to send anything to us, please do so. We'll feature them on News Channel 3 when possible. You can find out more. Send them to me at aonic underscore wreg3 or on Instagram and Facebook, many other social media networks as well. So a good opportunity to see more there. If you'd like to send them in, we'd definitely like to see them for you, from you on there. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, updates, anything that we can do to make this your weather blog. We're going to be bringing you back a little bit more about military weather. If you have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in military spots around the globe, we'll be bringing you some of those in the coming days and weeks. And, of course, we'll be taking a look at what's going to be going on as we run out of spring and right into summertime. It's coming up in about a little bit less than two weeks. And, of course, hurricane season has started off active. Whether it stays that way or not, we'll be watching that with a lot of interest. Again, information, want to send me stuff, Austin Onik at WREG.com and keep it tuned to WREG.com slash weather for the latest weather information so we can keep you up to date on that. Also, Tim and Jim will have the forecast coming up today on First at Four after I get done with News Channel 3 at noon and I'll be back in for Todd throughout the course of the rest of the week on News Channel 3 Daybreak Live at 9 and the Noon Show. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more coming up later today online and on air with News Channel 3.